Tired of having this problem in Power World? Oh man, I don't have enough ingots. We'll set up a base at one of these five metal base locations and you can go from rags to riches overnight. All right, for our first base location, you can find it at coordinates positive 168, negative 386. And I really like to call this one Beginner's Peak because it's an easy area to get to early game, but it also keeps you in the starting area, which you need to kind of stay in to help advance and really form that experience so that you can get past the beginning stages of the game. But you'll find when you get here, you'll find that you've got eight metal rocks that you can farm on this uh, peak plateau-ish type area. Um, it's a really good place to defend because there's only one little path coming in. You've got this little draw, uh, not a draw, bridge but a, a wooden uh bridge there and you could really kind of work this out here you could include more of this plateau here to the left to build on or i kind of like the thought of maybe even building down here and kind of having it even a little bit more secure area so you can just kind of move your power box around to fit whatever you need but i really like this one you also have over here to the left in that kind of Plot, flat area there you have a low level boss one of the first ones that you'll come across and it, it's chill it that you could farm to gain even more experience um, as you stay at this base but this is a really great first beginner base location the next base location you can find at coordinates positive six negative 523 this is another one that is okay for beginners and I think is really one of the best base locations you can have in the game, especially early game or maybe even throughout the whole game. I'm not for sure yet, but it is definitely really, really good because there's plenty of metal ore and plenty of space to build in. And it just takes a little bit more effort to get to as a beginner, but you can get there. As you can see, I've set up shop here at this location and I don't even think that I've utilized it as good as I could have. I'm actually Actually thinking about revamping all of this because I've played the game now a little bit and I know how to use the space a little bit better but here you will have the advantage of eight metal rocks to farm or your pals to farm and then you have these two big beautiful spaces that you can build in the one lower and the little bit and you can take advantage of the upper one a little bit you can't encompass all of them but obviously you can move your pal box around to fit however you would want it to fit plenty of space to build here and plenty of metal rocks to farm to supply your metal ingot needs all right this next spot is the one that i'm most excited to share with you guys because it is the one that i think everybody should at least have a mining base at because of how many metal ore rocks are around this and so you can find this one at negative 255 negative 212 coordinates so just in this one area here you can incorporate nine metal rocks to be farmed by your pals, but there are more metal rocks all around this area. And so it is a very efficient area to mine metal, especially if you're going to help out and do it manually. You can have your pals mining the metal over here and have nine metal rocks incorporated that as well as stone. And so you don't have to have a stone generator here. But then you can go mine the other metal rocks that are outside of the base area. The one thing about this area is that it is sloped. So you're gonna, if you're going to build structure here or build anything, you're definitely going to have to make a platform. So you might have to overcome a little bit of building headache to build here if you want a main base here, but it could definitely be done. You also have nearby, just up the hill from all the metal rocks, a skill fruit tree that you can farm the skills from. I love how high up this base can be and you just get a great view of the map from up here. One drawback I would say is how wide open this base is to attack from raids, especially have if you have the raid option enabled. You're going to want to have some pretty good defenses set up because you're pretty open to attack up here. Before moving on to the next couple of base locations, I'd like to take this time and ask that if you're new here to the channel, maybe think about hitting that subscribe button. And if any of these base locations have been helpful or you plan to build there, maybe consider throwing a like on this video. Any one of those would be greatly appreciated. Okay, this next base location you can find at negative 258, 
negative 362. And I really am excited about this base location because I know this is a place that I want to go and build a base just because of how cool this place looks. I mean, look at these trees. They're just so different from anything else of any other area that we see that you're really going through a lot. It's just, it's just such a cool setting. You've got this little pool of water on top of this little plateau up here. I could just really imagine a really cool base being on top of here. And plus, you've got the nine metal rocks that your pals can farm for you so that you can get those metal ingots. But a bonus thing about this, you can, on the plateau across, you've got a little camp that you can raid and get a free pal here and there. So that's a little bonus about this area. But I just love being up here. It's also easy to defend from raids because you're up here on this plateau. There's only going to be one way up defend that real easy against raids if you have that enabled but this is just such an awesome place to build a base and bonus it has the metal rocks to farm for the metal ingots for your needs okay our final base location is found at positive 269 negative 221 this base location is definitely one of the more challenging ones to build in but it's definitely the hardest one that's going to be rated because it is up here on these two giant plateaus that are way up in the air and it sports eight metal ore rocks for your pals to farm for you so that you can farm those metal ingots but i really like this one as well too again when you get up high in this game that's when you get to look out over the scenery over the map and really just see a lot of it and bonus on this one if you go down over the platform just a little bit below there are coal rocks that you can mine as well so you get two different resources that you can mine from this base maybe even incorporating pals to mine both of, both of them for you it might be a challenge to get them to mine the coal rocks with them being down there but I know some of you guys can probably figure it out. All right, that's it for this video. I hope that these five base locations helped you out in some way, maybe showed you a different new metal spot that you can set up a new farming base or maybe your main base to begin the game or advance in the game, whatever. I just hope that you found it helpful. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. And we will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Sun is coming up, are you ready to go? We can take a ride, we can take it slow Your will is my law, I'ma let you be the boss Cause I'll go with you